Hello and welcome. In today's video, I will be telling you why I think you should consider getting yourself a Line 6 Helix. So I've had the Helix a couple months now, I've had enough time with it to finally get used to it, um, play around with all the sort of sounds and effects you got with it, and just generally play with it and use it and tell you what I think of it. Right off the bat I think it's the best thing I have ever purchased. I've purchased a lot of things, I've purchased a lot of guitars and amps, and I generally think getting a Helix was the best decision I've ever made. The main reason why I think it was the best move on my part going from the valve sort of area is because my band's been going a little bit heavier and so it's it's needing that sort of more produced sound. Now the main reason why I went down this route was because I needed a unit that could do it all basically. I wanted to kind of delve into the synthy sort of guitar sound, all the different types of amps in the world at my feet, you know, and this Helix was definitely the answer for me. Now my band's been going a little bit more sort of heavier so I wanted to get that more produced sound because the Helix I think does it perfectly. Obviously the possibilities with the Helix are completely endless, there's so much you can do, I haven't even delved into the full realms of it yet, and I, I mean I've only had it 5 months, I've been using it pretty much every day, but yeah, that's just to let you know that it is, there's so much you can do with it, um, which I think is brilliant because you, you just constantly learn new things. It comes with an expression pedal, um, that's another reason why I opted to go for this over the Stomp or any of the sort of littler models. Um, also, I didn't really like the idea that the Kemper floor didn't have an expression pedal. I love using wire pedals and the Helix looked awesome, so I, I went for it. I saw some demos and it's definitely the best thing I've ever bought. Would I go Kemper now? Absolutely not. I've obviously been getting used to my system and that's fine. Now when I first got the Helix, uh, after plugging it in and having to go at home, the first thing I did was I rang up my friend Ryan. And I said, hey, do you want to come over and we can make some really cool tones for the album? He was like, oh yeah, man, um, I'll be over now, I'll be over now. And so five minutes, he knocks on my door. It turns out he's got his Kemper floor. <laughs> he's got his um, Ibanez AZ. And he comes into my room where I'm sat right now. And he plugs in to the monitors. And I plug into my head rush, which is the FRFR I'm using. And um, instantly we were like, yeah, these two work really well together. You can actually see a photo here of us um, getting tones. Um, it was actually getting tones for the album. So, was, so that was really cool to kind of sit down and sort of 
play around with like EQ together. That's another reason why I love the Helix because it's so easy to kind of mess with the EQs on things and so easy to save presets. It's a godsend. And I'm getting messages from my buddy. It's so good to me. It's a really cool feature if you're wanting to turn like a delay off or something, um, you don't have it assigned or whatever, you just go over to it, press the bypass button, done, it's off. Um, and that works for the amps and caps, everything. So that's really cool. You can obviously change your input channels and it's really cool. Imagine it like a pedal board in an amp situation. It is exactly that in a pedal. The signal chain is exactly how you would have a real amp with real pedals. It's exactly the same thing. So if you're used to the pedals in an amp, you know how that all works. You're ahead of me because I mean I don't even know how to do that. So getting this, you kind of understand signal chain. I think signal flow is really important. Um, you'd be surprised what moving the compressor that side of the amp to that side of the amp makes on sound. It's crazy. Um, especially when you make that tone you really like, you'll enjoy it obviously. I don't really feel like it's not got that sort of dynamic because it definitely does. Do I think it could be better? I know that the Kemper blows my mind when I hear it emulating a Kraken or like um, a Marshall. It does blow my mind. I own a Plexi. Um, my friend Ollie, you'll know Ollie from his channel, I'll link him in the description. He has the Kemper and I remember one day he, he, he made uh, a Plexi patch and I think I just started with Hell's Bells and so I was using the Plexi a lot and he makes a patch and it, it was exactly, I mean it was exactly um, my amp. I think your mind's definitely telling you that's the amp you're playing whereas if you didn't, if I was blindfolded and said what amp's this I probably wouldn't know and I think that's kind of where it, where it kind of crosses. The Helix however has great Plexis and I, and I use them for the Angus stuff um, at home, obviously. And it does it perfectly. I don't think I really wanna want anything more out of an amp pedals. The Helix is perfect for me. It's got all the decent amps. Um, you can download really good patches from the cloud on the Helix website, or you can buy patches from your preferred patch maker. But what I would honestly suggest, start on a new preset start making something. What I absolutely love about the sort of more effects units is you can have basically nothing on stage with you, whereas with an amp you, you might have 412 uh, with a huge pedal board, leads galore, and then you've got to get off stage and it comes a pain and I've been there and it sucks. Whereas with the Helix it is just kind of plug in and go if that makes any sense. And you don't even need to use a flat response speaker, you can, if you want, just obviously use them, you're going to want a monitor, you're going to want to hear yourself in ears or one of their floor wedges that they have at the venue um, you just need to give the sound guy you know a DI so that he can put your signal through this PA and then you're, you're good to go if you were to go down the helix route or any sort of modern route you definitely want to get yourself a nice um, flat response speaker they're good at home they're awesome live when I record with the helix I normally just take a quarter inch out 
you can do stereo. Why did I go for the floor instead of like the stomp? I told you I'm in a band, I gig a lot, I need the big unit, I think, going full out on the market. I didn't really like how the LT didn't have the scribble strip, and a lot of people don't mind that, because if you have loads of patches, I, I would personally struggle to remember what those colours meant. If you want to go for the LT, I say go for it, the LT is awesome, it's the exact same thing, it's just built, I think, differently, it's got like a slightly smaller uh, shell, uh, I know the expression pedal uh, isn't like one of the built-in ones, it's sort of like on top of the unit. What I mean by that is the pedal sort of goes in on the full one, whereas the LT is kind of on top. Um, it's obviously made out of a slightly less um, strengthened metal. Um, you're paying for obviously a bit more fanciness with the full-on floor, but the internals are exactly the same. I think if you are not sure about going the digital route, you want to try it, and you're in a band, and you're gigging, LT is perfect for you. I don't think you need anything more than that. That being said, um, I have a friend who has the HX Stomp. The Stomp is again the exact same thing. I think all you get is like six blocks instead of what you get on the floor, of course. And I think off the top of my head, three foot switches, which I think you can have one as a tuner and then two effects, or you can just have a tuner alongside. I know my friend uses a tuner on the end because it just opens up that extra one foot switch. With the HX Stomp, I personally think again that's perfect for gigging, especially little gigs or like functions, which I know he uses it for. He's told me really good things about it, he swears by it. Now, it's not his main rig, he's more into the sort of valve territory and pedals. He's got the best of both worlds. He's got a nice little rig for his like function stuff, if it's like on the fly or like a, like a really small gig and he just wants to go into the PA. Uh, and he's also got his sort of big uh, victory rig uh, and pedal board for bigger, slightly bigger functions and whatever. Um, that's a perfect example of someone who wants dive into both worlds. Also, he records with the HX Stomp because it is so easy. Recording with the Helix is so good. You don't have to mic up a cab, and instead you have cabs on there with all these kind of mics that you can emulate anyway. You can back off the mic distance, you can change the mic you want, sort of reflections to the sound. This is all available on the stomp as well, um, not just the floor. All you're getting with the floor, like I said, is just a few more features. Internally, I don't think it's any different. I think it's just externally. For the money, you're looking at about in, in British pounds, I think about twelve to thirteen hundred pounds new. Second hand, you might be able to pick them up around eight nine hundred, maybe a little bit more. They're still kind of hitting the grand mark, I think, at the moment um, for the floor unit, the full on floor. Uh, HX stomps you can get for 200, 250, 300 quid. <laughs> Thank you.
me telling you my experiences with it so far, why I think you should buy one, and why I kind of moved from Valve to the digital world. There you go. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm going to do a lot more videos like this, so um, definitely keep your eyes peeled. Um, definitely going to enjoy making these for you. Uh, I've also got a lot of ideas of all kinds of videos I'm going to do, so I hope this has been informative on the Helix or on the modeling world. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, uh, leave a comment. Please leave comments, let me know what you want to see, um, what you like, what you didn't like. Um, I mean, let me know. I want to see what you guys want. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.